fine place to be drinking Glendronic at the Healing. Hello and welcome to Whiskey Walks. I am on Tensmuir Beach. Look at this stunning place. There we go. How we twirl for you? I'm paddling currently. I'm uh, got my uh, socks and shoes off, strolling through the sea very leisurely. And uh, I thought, yeah, let's do let's do a little whiskey walk. I'm with my dog and my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd take 10 minutes out to talk to you guys about the Glendronach 8, the Healing. Now, it's not part of their core range. I don't know how long it's going to be around because it's already been, well, it's already running out on some stores. So, uh, some online stores. I got it from the distillery when I did a tour there recently, which was fantastic. I got loads of great footage, guys, so uh, stay tuned for a an awesome Glendronach tour video. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd take a wee whiskey walk here and I've got my hipper, it's got Glendronach 8 in it. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay folks, welcome back to this Whiskey Walks. Um, I've got my notes here about the Glendronach 8, the healing. Right, so one of the interesting things about this is it's at 46%. Um, the 12 year olds at 43 and I think the 15 and 18 are at 46. So it's, it's got a good bit of kick for, for, the, for the 8. So let me just take you through what I first got on the nose. So I say it reminds me of the 12. A bit more acetone initially, which leads into pineapple. Uh, but other sweet notes like the 12, the candy floss, toffee apples, and the fairground kind of smells I got from the 12 are also present in this. What I will say is, as this bottle's gone down, you can hear my dog. If you're wondering what that is, by the way, that's my dog whining in the background because she's all wet and she wants to go back to the car. So I'm going to keep this short. But yeah, so what I was saying was the, uh, the acetone smell that I got initially, it, it, the more it's gone down the bottle, I'm not getting that anymore. I was really like the kind of neck pour, I was getting acetone, which kind of led into the kind of tropical fruits, pineapple smell, but I'm not really getting that now. Um, uh, I can get an almonds as well on the nose. Um, what else did I say? Uh, candied almonds, yeah, the pineapple. Um, you can imagine everything that you smell, like all the fruits that you smell, you can imagine it all candied. It's got a real kind of sweet candy uh, smell. Well, the taste was rich, it was surprisingly oily for an eight-year-old. It was sticky toffee pudding, the spice comes in, but it's a it's a creamy and smooth kind of finish. It's vanilla, uh, brilliantly balanced. The spice, I don't find it, I'm, I'm gonna have another little sip here and just wash it under my tongue, because that's normally when I get the spice. It's very light on the spice. It's, um, if you compare that to say, it's definitely got some of the 18 there, that when you roll the 18 around your mouth, you definitely get a lot of spice. This one doesn't have that kind of spice. It does have the kind of uh, slightly sour, bitter, uh, balanced edge that, that you'll find in Glendronach, if you can get past the, uh, the sweetness. But for an eight-year-old, this I think is great that they're putting out an eight-year-old because 
Uh, most people kind of start at, at, at the tens, and there's this kind of pretentiousness with the, the age statements to keep it like ten and above. So, like, hats off to Glendronic for putting out an eight, but in typical Glendronic form, there's probably a lot, uh, a lot in here that's older than eight years old. But I'm not complaining. What a great eight year old, go and buy it. it it's, it's getting already scarce online. Um, I got it from the distillery, like I said. So, uh, if you're up that way, I just about finished that, so Sarah's probably not going to get much. Wait till I'll film Sarah again. Smiley.